Hello, and welcome to another TechLink Higher Ed Series video. In this video, we'll be talking about material management. My name is Mario Arias. I am a senior consultant at TechLink International. I am a planning and reporting expert with extensive project experience through varying business processes and have experience in SAP as well as Anaplan. So for material maintenance, the process overview that we're going to be looking at today is going to be an out of the box functionality of a model <clears throat> that starts with a project or project item proposal. So that project and project item will be proposed by the project manager which will then be sent to the region manager to go through an approval process. The BOM will be calculated and from the recruit, uh, approved requests and then sent to the warehouse where the volumes will be adjusted automatically. Orders will be created and the volumes will be updated and then there will be automatic alerts and tracking IDs created for those orders from the warehouse. This is just a high level overview. Uh, it is project based. The items that we are going to propose in the first step are going to be finished goods, which is why we need that bomb. We'll go over a bit of the approval process and then um, we'll go over the automatic alerts and tracking IDs. We've created four roles for this. The roles are going to be project manager, which will be, which will be doing the proposal the warehouse manager which will be handling the orders for the supplies the region manager which will approve of the project manager's proposals and the region supervisor <clears throat> which will uh, have access to everything for the region manager as well as project manager so with the overview completed let's go into anaplan so now that we're in anaplan <clears throat> we have our four dashboards for the four roles that we just talked about and we're starting with the region supervisor the region supervisor has all of the project manager links and all of the region manager links so if we go into the region manager we see these same two links that we saw in the region supervisor and they are the reviews for the project item proposal and project proposal this is where they will approve of project proposals and project item proposals from the project manager. And if we go into the project manager, they have the project proposal and item proposal, as well as the project overview to see all of the items associated with their given project. And then finally, we have the warehouse manager. The warehouse manager can look at the supplier delivery overview, which will tell them information based on supplier the order setup, which will allow them to create new orders for their warehouse volumes, project needs, which will allow them to get a snapshot of the projects that will be taking from warehouses, and then get an overview of their warehouse volumes at any given point. So to start this process, we're going into the project manager, and we are going to create a new project proposal. I can create a new project proposal here. I'm going to create it in the east. And then we have our incomplete project proposal. We see that it's red, which means I need to fill out some of these columns here. I'm going to fill out the columns based on these drop downs. The project name will be TechLink Test Project Demo. We can ha have the start date of May 1st, the end date of the end of May. And those are the minimum requirements for us to propose a project. And I'm going to continue filling out some of these. Uh, estimated contract value. Uh, we have the project manager, automatic associated with the region. Main warehouse I can select from here as well as a secondary warehouse. I can include some comments. And then once I'm complete, I can submit it for review. We can refresh and it goes away to create a new project. Now as a project 
manager, I have created that project proposal. I can go into the region manager dashboard into the proposal review. And I see this project proposal that we just proposed. I can then approve or reject it and I will approve it, provide some feedback that maybe the estimated value is low and then confirm project approval. So now that this is a approved project. So now we have an approved project and we can go back as the project manager to propose some items for our approved project. We can select it on this list here and I can create a project item. It prompts me to select the project item type. I'm going to select a product, a finished good, a guy anchor, the desired warehouse, and the date that it's required by. I'm going to put in a quantity and I can submit a comment if I would like, and then I can submit it. I can create another one. This time, maybe we can make it a equipment item, such as a bulldozer, backhoe, or something of that nature. Once again, fill out the project requirements, requirement date, we only need one, and then we can submit it. So I have created two project item types, and with those, I can go into the region manager dashboard and look at them as a project item proposal. I see that they come up here. We see our guy anchor as well as our backhoe loader. I can put in some comments and approve or reject once again. So I'm going to approve these and confirm the project item proposal. So now we have a project completed and approved. And we see that in our overview, we have all of the approved items that are associated with our project. So now how does that affect the warehouses? If we go into the warehouse manager dashboard, to see how the volume of this proposed project and project items have affected our warehouse levels, we can go into our order setup as a warehouse manager. I can select my warehouse and my week, and I get the negative amounts of volumes appearing here. So this means that due to the project needs that have been approved and project items that have been approved, we have negative volumes for this week, which means we need to create an order. So I need to fill out this order action down here. I can select guy wire. It prompts me with my supplier. I can put in a delivery date. As long as it's prior to week 19, it should appear to have affected the net. So let's say that we need it the week prior, week 18, and that our volume that we need is going to be 10. So now that I have filled out the order form, I can click order. And we see that our guy wires are gone because we would have a net volume of positive seven based off of the prior net negative three and our order here. If I go back to the warehouse manager dashboard, I can go and look at the volume overview. And we just saw the order that we created. We see that right here, week 18, it's incoming. And we have a net 10. Then the next week in 19, we have the volumes coming out so that we have a net seven where we prior to this had a net 
negative 3. So we can follow our orders incoming and outgoing and it automatically updates in this dashboard here where our nets or volumes are going to be by item. So this helps me determine which objects I'd need to order and at which volume. Another tool that we have as a, pro as a warehouse manager is to go to the project needs. Our project needs here, if I refresh, shows us all of the project trids that are coming in and out of warehouses. Now, I would only have access to the warehouses that I have security to, but I am an admin, so I have access to everything. So we can see here that this line item says that we can inform the project manager that this item is available, meaning there is already volume in our warehouse and that we will not need to create an order in order to fulfill this project need. So I can go ahead and click. I have this automated message, project item included, backhoe loader for the project associated with it and the week as well as the warehouse. And this goes directly to the project manager associated with this project. So this allows us to automate this and inform the project managers whether or not that their items are available or if there is no volume in the warehouses associated with their project. Finally, as a warehouse manager, I have this supplier delivery overview. This allows us to put in the delivery dates for uh, items that we've received to our warehouse. And I can say that this item came in on April 7th instead of April 2nd. We see that there's a late tick and that it was delivered here as well. And then down here, we have the number of late count by supplier. So I can refresh this and we see now that that item that I just updated was five days late from this supplier here. And, and it tallies up in the late count right here in a graph below. So what we've seen here is a material maintenance model that has out of the box functionality that can be tailored to any business need. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us through our website, techlink.com. And thank you for watching.